just not having a good time. No, I'm, like, I'm good. I need, I need to go to college. No, you don't. You're not all. Oh, hey, oh, f- it. both of you. I- Karens often find themselves in hot water with their over-the-top behavior. And when they cross paths with tough cops, the result can be explosive. You look at me like I'm stupid. They killed my son. I know what it is. From a woman whose aggressive attitude met its match with the cop. Y'all give me a search warrant. No, hey, no, no. Ow, bro, what the f***? I didn't do nothing. To a teenager whose heated argument escalated into a family altercation. I've told him he's got to go. This isn't the first time. It's the first time in this year, but it's not the first time he's attacked his sister. Here are some instances when dumb Karens face off with the wrong cops. Beginning with this incident, a dumb couple guided their love down a darkened highway, their dreams burning bright like a car with just one headlight. Every time I call him, I get pulled over. The police already killed my son, and I'd be nervous. That's why I'm trying to call my people. On July 6th, 2022, police conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle in Pensacola that was traveling with only one working headlight. As the police interacted with the suspects regarding the reason for their car having one headlight, they attempted to make excuses and steer the conversation in another direction, raising suspicion and prompting further inquiry. Gosh, it's not working. Hello. I'm Officer Ava with the Pensacola Police Department. Um, I stopped you because one, you weren't wearing your seatbelt, and two, you guys have a headlight out. I got a headlight out? You do. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm okay. headlight Yeah. Where are you guys coming from? You mind keeping your hands up here where I can see them? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You can keep them on your lap, but I can't see no, them. Right now, see, no, I want you to see them because I don't want to cross the police get my sign, baby. I don't want no problem. I'm here from Palm Beach. I got you. My sister and her family. Well, I was just wondering how yeah. you picked him up. And no, baby, because yeah. my sister, my sister yeah. and her family had a party in my, in, in my club. Yeah. And I asked oh, him, oh. yeah, we were all hanging out. And I told him to take him home. Well, I, I was going to talk to him because he was doing yeah. driving and everything, yeah. okay? So, now. Yes, I'm because, driving home. Yes, because he was hanging home from my sister and people house in my club. Okay. So y'all are trying to get somewhere? So yeah, to her he, he sister. Was, he was, I, I'm here from Palm Beach. Uh-huh. I came to do dread, and we were at my chicken sister's family chicken. house on her daddy's side in Montclair, hanging out for, you know, before, and it was like, people came down from Orlando, they had another little party. We were hanging out, you know what I'm saying, barbecue, no, whatever. And I asked, we was hanging out. He was driving, I told him to take me on to my sister's house. But when y'all got behind me, he put, we was nervous. The police came outside, he pulled yeah, up his nerves. We're you going feel to me? get some chicken from the tree. And then we yeah, going to get some, more, get some more, chicken, get some chicken from the tree. You know, off the that's door, that's, that's a chicken stand. That. So everybody that come in town, black people come well, in that's town. That's probably why he pulled they up. They go down really, there. You know the door fat. He was originally taking me to my sister's house at 169. So you get the chicken. Then I'm from the train car. And the sister's going to take me Oh, okay. I just yeah, pulled it over there. Nephew, I called you by mistake. I called you by mistake trying to find you know, my sister because I, I, yeah, I just got pulled. No, I got pulled over by, by the police. So I called you trying to call my sister by mistake. I hope. Yeah, my sister, she called me back because I don't hung her up. Yeah, I called you trying to call my sister by mistake because I love, I love. What do they do? I th- we, are, we right off Garden. Man, what what my sister like? want to know where we are. I'm legit up. still. Okay, so it's C and Garden. Okay. She said C and Garden. What's going on, but we all right, though. You I know, know cause you legit, my, the police killed my son, so I always like to have somebody else on my trip. Okay, I don't you know. care where we are, so my, where are we, yeah, ma'am? So my okay, I'll, t- I'll tell you again, C and Garden. She said we on C and Garden. Come down Garden and make a left on C. Mm-hmm. Talitha, come down Garden and make a left on okay. C. Come down, we're on Garden. Come, from where you stay, come down Garden and make a left on C. And it, baby, just come down Garden and make a left on C, and that's where we at. She, got she said Garden and C Street. Yep. She said a call. Sister, we on, please stop yelling. Like right now we're on I Garden and C what? Street. I, we got pulled over. We're, we're good. good. But you already know. I just I wanted to let you know because I'm here by myself in Palm Beach. I mean the Pensacola. So listen, come down Garden Street from where you stay. You live in Marino Court. Come down Garden Street and just come here. So we have some. I'm going Garden and C Street. Hey, listen to what he has to say first. Come down Garden and left on C. If he's not showing any... Calm down, Gordon, make a left on C, or you can stay on the phone. You ain't even got a phone. Uh, I just wanted to call you to let you know what's going on. As well, then. I was just letting you know what's going on, babe, but we on Gordon and C Street. I swear, every time I, every time I come to Pensacola, I get pulled over. 
because my Palm Beach dad. Yeah, man, we used to follow me before. Me. Every time I turn to Palm Beach, I get pulled over and I'm going to call my sister back. Okay. Every time I turn to Pensacola. If you want to leave your keys in there, that's fine. I'm going to leave my keys in my hand. Okay. Because every time I turn to Pensacola, I get pulled over. It's discrimination because my Palm Beach dad. Okay. I told you okay. guys, stop. You want to walk right over here? Yeah. Well, you can stand right up in the middle of the table. You can follow it all you want. I know. Yeah, but I already have some witnesses. That's why my camera's on so you can't. Come stand with him. I'm right here. I'm right here. He's sick of this shit. Every time I come home, that's why I don't come home. Every time I come, you can do it every time I come home. Y'all pull me over because we're going to be dead. Man, yeah, so I'm right here. I told you every time I come home and I drive my car, it's a Palm Beach saying they put us I didn't do nothing. I'm at I'm at Pensacola with a Palm Beach tag. I'm right on Garden Street and S Avenue. Hey, listen, listen. You're not gonna, ma'am. I'm right on Garden and S. We're right on Garden and S. Listen, let's. It don't matter. Every time I come home, I get pulled over. I hate coming here. I just came home. Yeah, listen. I'm gonna stay here with her. I'm not moving. Okay, well we're not Baby, moving. I was just calling my. I'm, okay. I'm good. I'm calling my phone because every time I come home, I get pulled over. What you need, baby? What you need from me? Yeah. Okay. Listen, Every listen, time I come to the um, call, I get pulled over. The police hey. already killed my son, and I can be nervous. That's why I have to, I'm trying to call my people. Okay, hey, listen, listen, listen. Hey, listen. Bro, leave me the f right now. Deal listen, with her. Because I'm. Every time I come here, I get pulled over. Every time I come to Palm Beach, the, the Pensacola, I get pulled the because it's out of state time. You know what I'm okay. saying? Because it's my tag. Okay. It ain't no light. It's a, it's, it's a Palm Beach tag. Okay. I'm from Pensacola. Every time. I, every time I come home, we get pulled over. Okay. Check the rug. Y'all don't. The suspects tried to prolong the police investigation with unnecessary details, unaware that the police were already familiar with their tactics. When the police grew frustrated with their behavior, they took appropriate action. Just to clear my mind, and once again, I get pulled the f over. I hate this. Shit. I hate it. The only reason I'm calling my sister because they killed my son. I mean, but you need witnesses. They just shot the f time in Akron, motherfucking Ohio. You look at me like I'm stupid. They killed my son. I know what it is. We ain't did nothing wrong. They can run that. Get tired of this. It's okay. Correction is 727, July 27th. My car legit. Everything legit. Run my car. I got a. You might smell weed, but I got a weed car. The All they want to do is find stuff. This some. Every time I come on, let me call my kids. And let them know once again, this is some. Um, I just want to let y'all know right now, I'm pulled over on Garden Street, on S Street. Y'all in Palm Just let, stay on the phone in this case, and they have seen my mom, because I done got pulled over. Just, just, I'm by the grace of God. But every time they see a palm, all they see is a palm be sad, baby. Just stay on the phone, because just your auntie keep hanging up on me, and I keep telling her all I want is witness, because of your mother your brother and she's hanging the f on me so i just need to show the phone your baby just gets anything happen and she keep hanging up on me and i keep calling like just stay on the phone with me she know what the f is so just chill just stay on the phone with me because then i'll pull this over because i'm in pensacola again with a palm tag and every time i come home we get pulled over I'm sick of this f i ain't coming back to pensacola ever that's why the f i moved from here because you can't ride no diesel car they see a nice car, they're gonna pull you the f because they think it's drugs. In Palm Beach, everybody got nice cars. Girl, I ain't got that. I can f it. I can't send my jet stuff to jail unless something wrong. My car is here and ain't nothing in my car. They trying me, bro. I'm sick of this. Sh Every time I come home, it's some. Swear to God. Ma'am, listen, I know you're upset, but we're not going to keep walking farther and farther this way, okay? Right you, but look how far we've well, drifted okay, from well, the front of the car. Right here, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, every time I come home, I go through this because of a Palm Beach tag. I'm sick of this shit. It's your thing. Someone always dies. Like, I charge it, and I don't know.
girls, my son was killed June 24th. I've been going through depression. I came home to get over my depression. Every time I come home, I got to get pulled the f over. Look at this shit. I was just letting you know, girl, I done got pulled over, so bye. Okay, um, I know you want to be out here for her, but listen, it's kind of a safety issue. If you don't mind, just wait in your car for me, okay? Wait in my car? Yeah, just wait in your car over there for me, okay? Yeah, like, Yeah, we'll come talk to you in just a minute, but like I said, can you just go wait in your car? Thank you. They can't, he ain't made wrong turn or nothing. They just pulled it off because my tag. That's the dad. Is that family? Yep. That's my nephew. Yeah, like, my is that their corporate stuff in the middle of the right place? No, that's it right over here. I just need somebody because all I know is these police on play Y'all keep I ain't saying y'all keep my son with the police and this other day they shot. Okay. You hear? Seeger. What? He said he's got up hand. Oh, what? Is it your hand itself? Hey, she's got two bars here. Seeger. Um. Here we go. Let's put him up. Uh, do you have a handcuff? We're going to talk to you about that in just a minute, man, okay? <laughs> Right now you're being detained, okay? What am I being detained for? What's going on? Well, she got, she did, I, I might be going to jail, baby. They is arresting me. They put me in handcuffs. I don't know. They put me in handcuffs, baby. That's why I told y'all, because it's always so All right, hang tight. She's so at that time, the police discovered something shocking about the suspect, which surprised them. When the police inform the suspect about their legal rights, they can understand the consequences of their actions. Oh, hey, hold on, we're gonna make sure these tighten up on you, okay? You so they don't get tight. It's always stuff that I hate. I didn't go home without it. Oh, I left her light open. This so one vehicle is the nephew, the other one, she's saying she was an I was with Ty's girl, Drifter, but um, I haven't searched her, but. Girl, because we was all together at the party, it don't matter, Okay, hey. hey, she'll call you back or I'll call you back, please, okay? Please, can I get my phone? That's my daughter, can you get me my phone? Please, no, you're going to go. I know, but let me get my phone, baby. That's going to stay right there for right now. This you're going to go sit in Officer Seager's car, okay? Every time I come home, I go to jail. I swear to God. Just hang out over there. Never come here again. This is my last ride home from Bubba. Watch him. I'm going to search her over. Baby, hey, I'm going to jail nephew. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like they finna take me to jail for nothing, baby. I ain't got nothing on me, baby. Okay. Charlie, stop shot. She's in 1043. It's okay. I'm nephew. Please get my car. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the f is going on. Don't let them keep my car. Please, come on, find me. I don't know what is going on. Every time I come here, stop that. Keep talking to her. I said that my last time coming. I was okay with you, baby. I don't care. Yeah. 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 You good? Yep. Hmm. You okay? Look at what's that. No, it's too late. All right. Let me read you something, okay? Good. Can I ask you some questions? I don't have no license. Oh, well, you do have a... But I got a, I got a letter that said that, that my license was reinstated. Well, it's still showing suspended. Uh, I'm not sure of the month, but it's sometime this year. Oh, yeah. Do you have children? Yeah, I've got two, but this year, because when I went to jail in Texas, and, um, it should have been, and then I went to jail for charges that, that, that was dismissed that they accused me of what's more to put on me. Here? No, in Texas. In Texas? I just did 10 and a half months because. Because um, of what? Female, like. In a situation, you know what I mean, and then turn around and got down. Come on, 
All right, hey, I'm going to read you something real fast, okay? Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have them with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you free of charge before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. A lawyer. Do you understand your rights? No, oh, now they want to read my Miranda rights. They want to read my Miranda rights because I said they had to read my Miranda rights. And I've been well, nobody was at, nobody else is asking you any questions, so that's why they held off to do that. I know, baby. We're gonna, yeah, so let him, let, let him talk to him. No, just, I'm saying. No, yeah, no, he's calling. Trash. Please. Oh, listen. Every time I I should have never picked him up. Okay. Yeah. Hey. She wants to talk to you real fast. If you can call uh, your mom to make a come get, get the vehicle. Because they taking me to jail. Somebody with a good license. Somebody with a good license. I got good. You taking my license? Well, no, I know, but you. You're in a car, you know. It don't so somebody you else, get somebody to come get my car. I, I can't get my car. I, I know. Oh, oh is that enough? I'm going to jail. Okay, so you're fine with who's coming to get it? So I'm going to jail, bro. Huh? My girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. You're cool with his girlfriend. I don't care who get my car. He's driving. My, my girlfriend's driving. I don't okay. care who drives. The person who my car. And the car is going to her, her sister's house. Yeah. Her mom's house. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. He's gonna drive. Miss Tiffany, he's going to drive your vehicle back to your sister's house. So it is there. I have to tell it. Okay. You got my phone. Where's my phone and my purse? That's what, that's what we need to talk about next. What do you want to go to the jail with you? You can take your phone with you to the jail. I mean, they're going to take it from you, but you can take it with you. Um, release it with me. I just, yeah. At that moment, the insane woman did not accept her fate, which appeared in her attitude. The police then handed over her car to a friend and proceeded with their investigation. I'm gonna because that way I can at least I can call him to come get me and he'll have my position. Well, yeah. Um. What we're doing is get your wallet. Bang. It's like her purse with like the miscellaneous items, um, but I'll have her wallet go with her so she's got all her IDs and stuff. Um, I hate this. I hate your I'm not never coming okay. back to you. Chichi, chichi, calm down. I'm right, not I'm never coming back to you. This is y'all. I'm not one of God. I understand. Hey, I'm not never coming back to you. She can talk to her if they're here. If I'm not never coming back to you. We're going to give you the keys, okay, to yeah. the vehicle. Do you need any of those keys to go with you, or they're all good going with him? I got all the keys. He's going to have all the keys, okay? So you can call him when you get out. You will have a bond. So... Miss Tiffany, is this your phone? I know this one's yours. Yeah, I, mean, I just need, I need the other phone. This one's dead. Do you want me to? I need the other phone. I, I got that one. Yeah, I don't need that. We well, can leave that in the car with him. Um. All right. Uh. You're good to get out of here. Uh, we're about to take them to the station and do my report. It's going to take a couple of hours probably for me to do the whole report. Um. But she'll be. But then to the jail then, okay? I do everything by right by every fucking time. Um, and then she'll be able to make a phone call when she's processed in. Wow. And come on now, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm about to say like, Yeah, you're good. I'm always praying to God. Hey, so you're going to put this back here. For, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to step on you, man. When all I do is try to be right. Hey, every time I try to be right, I go to jail. Some petty Some Miss Tiffany? Bro! Hey, back up. She, hey, if hey, you're... If you're mad at anyone, be mad at me, not at I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at life right now. Okay. I'm mad at life right now. I'm mad at myself. I'm not mad at you. Okay. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at, I'm mad at myself. I got I'm mad at God right now. This is me and me and God. Okay. Because he already took my son. And I don't understand why the f did he torture me. Okay, yes, ma'am. Why the f I do have to work on my, do my report, which is going to take a couple of hours. And then they'll be transported to the jail and fuck. He's arrested as well, um, so they're gonna go to the jail. Yeah. How much you get that? How much will her bond be? I'm not sure off the top of my head. It will be a felony, um, and if anything, it's gonna be a third degree felony. What she did for third degree? Um, she has some ecstasy. Uh huh. So, um, so. 
Get that I'm a fucking mom when you get out. Okay. I will let's let's he'll he's gonna he's gonna have more charges than she has, so yeah. But uh you guys are free to take the car and take it to your house and everything and then she'll give you a call when when she's processed in, okay? I'm mad at this is unfair. <coughs> we try to do right. I do right by everybody. I do right by everybody, and I'm always getting f***ed up. Shoot him with the phone. Are you good? Um, mad. This so Alpha Bravo. You mind if I get by you? Bravo, Bravo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How'd you buckle yourself back up? Are you able to unbuckle yourself? Watch the door. You come out right now, please. Thank you. Right. Step back a little bit. Appreciate it. Well, not, not that far. All right, come on. That's fine. Oh, sorry. Your ID is in here? Is it in here? It's not sure you are, darling. I think, oh, they uh, took my ID, look like. That's my my daughter ID. They took my okay, ID. Okay, well, the other right officer there. has it. She'll yeah. walk in here in just a minute. Yeah. That's North Night. Cab was charged with trafficking amphetamines, possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, possession of marijuana with intent to sell, knowingly driving with his license suspended, and drug possession. And Tiffany was charged with misconduct. As glasses clashed and tempers flared, a drunken dispute over wine between sisters spilled into chaos, drawing the attention of the authorities. On March 4th, 2024, officers responded to a call about two sisters disagreeing over wanting more wine in Florida. Upon arrival, the officers discovered the woman in a peculiar condition. Despite their attempts to understand the situation, her slurred speech left the cops perplexed. Is this you? What? Who, who's inside right now? Okay, where's... Who called the cops? Who else is in the house? Just my son. Just your son? Mm -hmm. uh, well, why don't we stay out here? Yeah, sure. Come on, Limby. Was it you two that were going at it? That were fighting? Oh. I don't know who called the cops. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's the side of what I'm already here, so. Yeah. Was it you two that were fighting, or is there no, somebody else inside the home? You keep saying, right. I know it's your son. Not my son. All, my, all I'm concerned about right now is making sure that nobody else is hurt. So if you two are fighting and you're not hurt, then okay, that's we're fine. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Yeah, it's my little boy, 11 years old. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're good. No, we're good. it was just like, um, me and my sister were like talking about. Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, we'll play. you can come out. Why? No, no, for what? Why are you going to be 94 young? units. Little boy, come you can here. Your response. Hey. There is no 33 okay. in progress. I'm sure you guys have been called a million times here for him, and you know. She got too emotional, and then I just broke off. Oh. It was just like a little girl. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Nobody's going anywhere right now. All right? I'm being cool. You two be cool. Let's just listen to me for real quick. Please. 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 Thank you. Did I call the police? Nope. Nope. What's your first name? Her man is very <sighs> toxic. Whatever. All right. What's yeah, no, it's not all right. It's about whatever. Yeah, what else? Just one other Thank unit of the good. What's up? What's good? What happened tonight? Nothing. I've been here since last night, since been yesterday. Here since last night, okay. Yeah, everything was fine. Okay. You know? Just nice. Well, obviously. Alright, you guys have been drinking. Do you not take it away from me? 
and then nothing her man like just she's just he makes her feel like super overwhelmed they have a kid he's italian um i don't know what it is you know okay. and then whatever and then she has you know two other kids and then the kids don't like him okay. and then i really don't know what the was going on with right. them so then you guys are you two started arguing about her man is that no. what i'm getting yeah. Okay, you two started arguing about him. Yeah, but not like physical, just like verbal. Okay. And I'm not sure who called the call. It doesn't matter. I don't care either. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, right. this is not for nothing to call the cops for. Um, yeah, no, nothing happens. Like, I can go. Like, I literally drove over here. Did you hit, did you hit her? Never. Did she hit you? Never. We would never. She has a, a my baby. Let me take this real quick. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, okay. Yeah. See your hands. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. The other one. Flip it over. Nope. Seems oh. Flip it this way, please. Oh. Palm up. Hand oh. up. There you go. Palm up. Palm up now. What happened to your head? My head was. Oh, I, I have my hand. My hair iron and the flower. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. No, no, you can't call for more. There's nothing, I swear. Oh, well, hey. This is my nephew. Okay. Yeah, yes, he's fine. Where's your stepdad? Oh, uh, can you dad. can you just just hang here real quick, okay? Mario. No, you stay outside. Well, stay outside. No, I want to go. Can I get my? No, I, listen. What did I oh, tell I'm you? So sorry. What did I tell you? Oh. Right. Okay, I'm being cool with you. Just look at me, please. I am looking at you. I'm being. Don't go nowhere yet, okay? He's, I think just stay. You don't, you don't have, have to. Shh. Hey, will you stop talking like you're going into a car? You don't have to. Not playing stay, games. Okay? But I just, I would like to talk Either to you're you. going to get handcuffed okay. and put in the car, or you're going to stand you know there and shut up. Do? Understand? Here. Hey, Mario? I asked you to stay inside. Okay, my son. Come here. I, he's not Come going. He's not he going anywhere. He's in an he's investigation not, right he's now. Not leaving. Okay, I just you told him the same anywhere. thing. I just told him the same you thing. You cannot go anywhere, Isaac. I just told him the same thing. Can you There's please? There's my ex and bring my baby. Right. Can I go get my baby? Not yet. No hey, one's. Can you please go inside? Bring me the baby. I my stay right there. I'll be with you in a second. Okay, don't go anywhere. Before I put you in my car, I'm done. He's not going nowhere. Hey, you go to the car. Last time I'm going to tell you, you go to the car and you wait, and I'll be there in a minute. We're not playing games. The woman's actions added layers of complexity to the situation, alarming a child with her behavior. Yet her confrontational stance remains steadfast in front of the police. So she said they're both very, very, very yeah, single we're very, uh, Hey, what'd I say? I said oh, stand sorry, there and shut sorry, up. Sorry. So, She's claiming no 33. I have not got to talk to his son. He's very upset. Okay. Call the stepdad to come pick him up. He does not want to be here. That's beside, okay. that's beside the point. Can you, because I don't know, can you come here? Yeah. Turn and face this officer? Yeah. Is this, she's saying this is from a flat iron. She got her yeah. hair done. No, it's not. What is it? Not that. Would you like to speak with him? Yeah, I'm going to go check All right. him. Hey, listen. Okay. I'm only going to tell you one last time, okay? Don't get closer to him. You're going to stand right there, and you're not going to talk until he asks you something. Do you understand? Yeah. Because now I'm to the point where I'm going to arrest you. I'm about to calm myself in two seconds. Do you mind if I open it? Hey, are you okay? Hey, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. Cry. Cry. It's okay. He's my stepson. Okay. I love him so much, too. Just cry. It's all right. When you get a second, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, okay? But you tell me when you're ready, all right? Oh Do you mind if I sit right here? Okay. <laughs> Let's talk. What happened? So, I, I like to go outside. I like to play soccer. Okay. So, after a long day of playing, I come inside. And uh, then I come in. And then my mom served me some food, but which one's that, mom? The one that just walked out, not this one yeah, right the here. Yeah, the one that correct? walked out. So okay. my son. Okay. But um, right, right when I walked in, I heard them cursing at each other, saying like F word, A word, S word, B word, W word. Not very nice word. words. No, okay. no. And then I just want my food. They go inside the room, and they're drinking like crazy. My aunt's like, "Give me all the wine," and and then my mom gets the vape and the wine, drinks all of it. He smokes the vape, throws it on the floor, 
then they start screaming at each other saying why the f like the f would you do that you stupid little piece of everything and then like my mom grabs her into the room pushes her then um uh, my aunt is still saying give me my wine i want wine and they keep talking about giving me drugs give like they talk about giving drugs talking about no i want drugs no i want this and then like i'm just in the room just waiting for him to get here because i really want to leave okay you and said just, you said mom pushing her into the room yeah and then do you remember how i know i know i'm gonna I, stop you for I a couldn't, second i couldn't i couldn't do you remember like if at any point her aunt's face was touched or anything like that oh they were both hitting each other they were both hitting each other okay do you remember who started it it was mostly my own because she kept talking and then my mom got really mad mm -hmm. and everything let okay let me reword it do you know who pushed first or or put hands on like if i was to put hands on him right now i i'm the one my aunt, my aunt. your aunt do you and remember my mom started like really pushing her a lot okay and where where did your aunt push like was it in the living room i pushed her to the side so she could get the wine and my mom was like no wine is bad and my mom kept pushing her pushing her and pushing okay. her back then my my aunt like pushed her really hard too and then and my mom got the wine and she left the house your mom left the house okay and my aunt was just screaming in the room on the phone okay all right all right you guys are just gonna sit here just for a minute that way i can finish my investigation I gotta come back and get your name and, and stuff, and then from there we'll go forward, okay? Good deal? All right, hang in there, okay? You gotta cry, cry, all right? We all cry, okay? So don't hold it in, talk. No problem. Listen, this is a sister thing. She doesn't need to go like that. I think that's she does because enough. you guys aren't listening. No, because yes. you guys are being aggressive. And We're not being aggressive. I have been. I have not been aggressive. The entire she time is. I've been here until you need to be you're not the listening. You're right, we do. The fuck are you coming at me for? No. Listen, at least my hair is good. Wow, we got into me and my sister in a little alternation. And I stop. Come here, you. Come here, you. I'm sorry. Please come outside now. You inside. Please don't touch each other on the way in and out. Oh, I'm Where? I just want my baby. Yeah, no I one's going anywhere. Baby. They're not leaving. Okay, I just want my baby. Hey. What? The cops then took a statement from her sister to delve into the matter, and she revealed some surprising details that prompted the police to move forward with their investigation. You're very upset, which is, I understand. Kevin and I just broke up after three years and having a baby. It's rough. Because of the narcissist. It's fine. <laughs> I know she's not okay. I really think she has mental problems. She came to visit me and she was the fifth day. When did she come? Last night. Oh, she came last night? Yeah. And today, we were having some wine and she just acts a fool. She's screaming and I think a fool. I'm not sure, please, love your voice. I can't take the screams anymore, please. Out of control, so I left for a walk. I saw you weren't here when I got here. Mm hmm. Why am I At no point did you guys touch each other? No, I don't know. I think she, um, Got my phone. I think that trying to get the phone back. I have long nails, so perhaps I scratched. Her. I'm not sure. Or maybe she scratched herself. I don't know. Okay. No point. Did, did she hit you? Mm -hmm. No point. You hit her. Any pushing? Oh. Mm -hmm. So you were you were up. Okay, I did. I left. I left. And he cannot leave. He's another one that's on my radar, and I need to go to court. He cannot leave. He can't take my baby. My baby lives here with me, and he lives here with me. He cannot leave. Hold on. It doesn't look like he's going anywhere. <laughs> Officer McAvoy, I'm not dealing with this nonsense. Mm -hmm. I will take him to court. He cannot take my baby. It doesn't look like he's going anywhere. He's probably just <sighs> sitting in his car. This is mom. Hi. Hey. All right, so I'm Officer Barrage. Hi, Barrage. Because then your son wants to leave. Bawling his eyes out, okay? He needs to so, stay with me, though. Okay, but listen to me real quick. That will be tomorrow. But listen to me sure. for a second, okay? Right. Let's let's worry about son first, okay? Yeah. So he saw stuff, okay? And with he's, her, right? He's bawling it with both of you guys. Bawling his eyes out, okay? Not keeping it together whatsoever. If I may interrupt you, he cannot go with him. That's not his father. He cannot go with him. Okay, not, okay. But his father wants him to go with him. Tomorrow, but that's on his back. I, I get that. Okay, Dad's in Mississippi. Okay. Yeah, Dad's Dad in Mississippi. can come tomorrow and pick him up. That's fine. So, what happened? With my sister? Yeah. She came last night, supposedly, you know, to come and spend some time. 
Today we were having some wine and she lost it. My sister has had other altercations. However, there's never been cops involved. My sister's not okay in the head. I really think she needs to get diagnosed from the bottom of my heart because she doesn't act like an adult. What adult yells at the top of their lung whether they're sober or an alcohol? Come on. You know? So I'm gonna tell you, okay. your son she thinks received. that both of you guys are children right now. I know, I understand. I mean, he's saying that you I put, left. I walked away. I couldn't take it anymore. Okay, but he's saying that you put your hands on her. Because she had my phone. She put her hands on you. So do you realize that that's domestic? That's domestic battery? Yeah. I was trying to take my phone away from her. I understand. I understand. I understand. So explain to me when it began physical. When it when turned from just phone. yelling to physical. When she took my phone. Okay. <laughs> and when she took my phone. So then I'm like, I got on top of her to give my phone back. Stop. This is enough. But it's okay. Like, I don't have any marks or anything. She wasn't being It doesn't matter already. about marks. It matters about what everybody's saying. And the only non-intoxicated person right now has given more truthful information than I you guys it. put together. I get it. It's just, I guess she doesn't want to put me in any trouble and I don't want to put her in any trouble. It's not like we, it's not like we fought or anything, you know what I'm saying? However, it was like, oh, get off me. Oh, you know, stop, stop. And I'm going to tell you, just leave. Just leave. Please, just leave. Please, just get out. So I left. I yeah, when I got here, she wasn't. I walked, I went and I walked. I can't take this drama. I can't. Back inside. So let me tell ba everything about Mary. Yeah, he's going inside. 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 No, 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 I don't want to hear. No. Oh, no, 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 no,
<laughs> and trust me when I tell you, I'm not shaking because of you. No, I don't. Give zero fucks. Yeah, I give fucks about you. Okay, you keep moving. You already caught. You already caught another card. I'm trying. Okay, you kind of say toy. I'm trying to kill you, bitch. I want to kill you. Okay, that's why I'm not. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want. Hey, you lost your mind. Have you lost your mind? Yeah. Sit you up. Okay, There's nothing to go. do with sitting up. Can you blow my nose? Well, we, we have EMS coming. They're gonna check. Can you blow my nose? No. Well, EMS is coming. I want to blow my nose. That's fine. I want to just blow my nose. All I wanted to do was put handcuffs on you and put you in the car. So Please unfortunately, that didn't happen. We're gonna stand you up on three. One, two, three. You're gonna walk out to the car. Oh, I'm gonna cut her purse off when you get out there. No, I don't have a purse. No, you don't have to cut it. You can go. Walk out the door. If you have anything that I haven't located, it's gonna be an extra charge when you get to jail. Do you have anything that I haven't found? I didn't have a vape. Okay. She's gonna blow my nose. No, not yet. EMS oh, is on oh, right. God, oh. You're being arrested for domestic violence. 33 on your domestic sister. Domestic violence. Battery. Uh, battery, I'm sorry. Battery, battery. on your sister. Oh. Listen, I want a lawyer. I understand. I want a lawyer. Yeah, that's fine. That's and, it. And you can have a lawyer. That's it. Eventually, following her detainment, the woman seemed reluctant to accept her circumstances, but ultimately had to confront the reality of her actions. I'm gonna have him come back. They're right there. Can you just? Oh. Okay. Your handcuffs are gonna stay the same. Okay. Now she wants to be looked at. Now I'm cleaned up. And no, you know what? I, I don't. I don't. I yeah. don't. Yeah. No, I don't want to. I just. I just want to go to jail. I want to get booked, and then that. That's it. Please. Please, yeah, it's my right, right? Hot, 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 right? Hot, hot, you hot. guys are un, 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 un. <laughs> You guys are <laughs> No, you guys are wrong. And she hit me, hit me for no reason. I was not. I was not. She came. No, no, no. That's the next thing. All right, yeah. To you about. Whatever. Listen, please take me to That's jail. Okay. No, please no, take me now. Me, okay. me, me. I don't, I don't, I am my period. I don't, I, I, I don't want to be just take hey, me. Hey, that's coming over. That's coming over. Okay. I don't care. Wait, who? God? Off your blood. No, I don't care. Why? 
because you guys don't even let me spit or pee my period. Nothing. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want no help. I wanna go. I just wanna go to jail. And then and then I'll be fine. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It's okay. Yes. Please bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The woman was charged with domestic battery, resisting arrest with violence and battery on a law enforcement officer. In the boxing ring of family bonds, two siblings sparred over the dark allure of substances. Their bout halted by the referee's badge and the cold, brutal truth of arrest. In my hands, I don't have any knives, but I do have a cut on the side of my face. And my nose ring was ripped out. My lip was busted. On June 27, 2022, police responded to a report from a mother about her two children fighting in a condo complex in Dunwoody. The police entered the house to find a mother holding a firearm, trying to stop her two children from fighting. They discovered one sibling had a history of aggression before pulling him outside. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. What? Does he have a gun? No. What's going on? <laughs> What's up, man? Hold up. What's going on? Yes, I'll take it with his sister and pull out this one. Okay, so we're going to be eight minutes. Oh, marijuana. They got into a fight, a physical fight. Broke into my bedroom, fighting. I've had her locked in this year. I've told him he's got to go. This isn't the first time. It's the first time in this year, but it's not the first time he's attacked his sister. This happened at 4 a.m.? This happened at 4 a.m. Well, why are you calling now? And why Sir, do you have your gun out? Sir, because of my son's aggression, and I've asked him to leave my house, and he refuses. Take your hands out your pockets for a moment. And he refuses. I said, Jacob, leave my home. He has disrespected me. He has said, f me. He has said, f Everybody, if that's how you feel, you've got to get out of my house. He's 18. Can I have a seat on your couch for me? Let me talk to you real quick. Come out here real quick. Jacob revealed his reason for fighting. He admitted to starting the brawl when his sister disagreed with him, which escalated into a serious fight. So she told me, I told her to take the time here when I got woke up at 4 in the morning over some weed. I told her I said, I have some weed. Took my weed and she took all my stuff. So when I asked for it back, we got draw education. That's what happened. That's the whole point. Because she got mad. I asked for it back. She had my, so my cousin left to have another week. That's why I told her my week back. Because she stole. She gave her my week, but she had stole my, all some other stuff that I had to go with my week. So when I asked for it back, I taught her basically just suddenly right there. So I kind of get my stuff back. She told me, no. She said, you can't give me some week. You can't, you can't give me something to take it back. I said, all right, bro. So I wake my mom up first. She wouldn't wake up. So then I said to my mom and I'm ready to live with the consequences. What what happened between you and your sister? Um after I tried like physical up, altercation. Oh, um first we was wrestling. I threw two hits. I landed two. That was at four because she you know rushing, you know, I'm in my mom's room. Threw on the bed. Threw on the bed and then I like, swung up for the lift hand, smacked her the first time. And we got going in the back of her bathroom, my mom's bathroom, and was resting. She kept going, so I just put her in a headlock. And I just said, Yes, that chill, you done, chill. How old your sister? She's 20. When she got up, she swung at me again, but missed. So then I swung one more time to get her. After that, that was that. Who started the physical altercation? Who started it? You could say I did, you know. I, 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 I did it since I tried to wake her up, she was. Up, and I'm gonna scream in your ear with cold water and just wake up over some weed. So I went back to ask her, I said, give me my weed back then. She told me no. She said, you can't give me, you can't give me it and then ask for it back. But it's, it's mine, but so I took it to my own man, so I'm gonna take the consequences. So then what, what happened when you asked for a weed back? She said that she wanted to. She told me she wouldn't give it back. Also, I left out one I took her phone, I said, since you wanna give me a weed, I, 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 I made it. I escalated the situation. I took her phone, I said, all right, babe. Took a phone, she followed me into the room, and then that's where it happened from. That's the whole story. I took a phone, she followed me into my mom's room, and that happened. That happened. That's when it was face to face. Four something in the morning, I got woken up, but that's beside the point. 
I'm going to take my ass from town. If I got to go, I have a record. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cool. you said you got woke up at 4 in the morning? I got woke up at 4 in the morning. By your sister? In the five years. If you got a witness, you can ask my cousin. She your sister woke you up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Why? For some weed. For weed? For weed. And you gave it to her? I told she could, I, I told she could have it. I didn't even give it to her. I said, well, I, I told her where it was. I said, look, I said, you go get it. She went to go get it. She can, you can ask her. If she lies, she lies. Okay. But you want a witness? I have a phone number. That you okay. can have. So my she cousin. came She came to get your weed. You told her she could have it. Then mm -hmm. she started acting funny because my cousin was around. She started acting funny because she first asked me to lie. Besides the weed, she took my, my last my last leaf to roll with. I had my other leaf. She took that without asking. So I said, is that. Is that fair? She was like, you took mine. I said, no, I said, I asked you for yours. You gave it to me, but you just take mine without asking. And this is all at four in the morning? Four in the morning, I got to get to you, sir. So she was like, she, she thought it was, you know how it goes. She was like, well, you t I get mine because I asked. You only asked for weed, Cody. So, and then, so she looked at me, she started being funny because my cousin was in the bathroom with her. I said, okay, then give me my weed back. You can't do that. You can't give it to me then and then want it back. I said, what? So I took her phone. And like I said, when she called me into my mama's room after that, it was face to face. I threw on the bed because she was too close to my face. I threw on my bed, and that's when we started. She, I basically, okay, I, so I you, the first hit. I let her push on the bed first. She wouldn't give me weed back, so yeah, I you took, took her phone. phone. Then yeah. you went to your mom's room, and then she came after you in your mom's room, got yes. your face, and then you threw her on the bed. Push on the bed, yeah. And then and she, got she got up, rushed. So I, I, then I swung again. Like if you saw me the first contact again, I swung, smacked her, started resting in the bathroom. Put her in a chokehold because I wasn't trying to read his. I after, after I smacked her, I wasn't it was wrestling. After I got on the floor, I just put her in a chokehold. I'm like, chill, you done? Are you done? As the fight continued, their mom intervened and eventually separated them. After questioning Jacob, the police took him back inside and asked him to stand by while they questioned the sister outside. She caught her breath and we got up. We was, she separated us. Kobe had tried to, she basically swung, she tried to, but she missed. So then I swung again and hit her. And then and I was that. The police didn't get called no. over 12 hours ago? Why not? 241, nothing in it. That's why I'm calm. And I said, I told her, I said, you know, I, I live on my action. If I have a record, 21, that's for us. Could I'll, I'll, I'll have my record. I told her, I'm 18 now. She, she right. I'm 18. You live until consequences. I said, yes, ma'am. You got, you got a car? Uh, no. I'm trying to get, I don't need one. All right. I got the kitchen. Yes, Actually, uh, you got a room? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sleep in there. I sleep, I sleep on a mattress. I just see the house. Okay, hang out right here for me. Eight months. Eighteen. Just turned eighteen. Yeah. 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 Okay, so around 4 a.m. this morning, she's not here anymore, but I have my little cousin here as well. We decided, we both participated in smoking, so we decided that we wanted to smoke. So I you and your cousin? Yes. So okay. we woke him up. He has no problem giving me gas. We share gas all the time. So, well, we, we share it all the time. So I asked him if he can give us some so we can roll up, and then that was that. But he got up, he gave me the pack, he told me where it was, took the gas out. What we used to roll it with, he also had that as well. So I was just gonna use that to put the gas in it. He told me that was his last, he didn't he didn't want me to use it. His last paper? His last um, leaf, it was a game okay. leaf. I got you. So I said, okay, well, I didn't have an attitude. I said, okay, well, when I shared my leaf earlier with you, there was no problem, no questions asked, I'll let you have it. But when I asked for it, it's, oh no, that's my last, that's my last, which is cool, you can have it back. I admit, I did toss the um, thing back on the ground. That was uncool of me, but I did toss it back. He picked it up, he had after me. He said, you know what, I want the weed back, give me the weed back. I was like, you don't get to take it back after you've already given it to me. That's like me giving you money and then asking for it back when I'm mad at you. So I told him, you can have your weed. You said that's your last, that's cool. I have papers. I just wanted to leave because that's like a better alternative. But he can have the leaf back. No, he was upset. No, you gonna give me my leaf. You gonna give me my leaf. No, I'm not giving it back. You gave it to me. He took my phone and put it in his pocket. So I'm like, no, you're not gonna take my phone. We're not doing this. It's four in the morning. I don't wanna wake my mother up. I'm reaching for my phone and he grabs my hand and he's holding onto my hand. So I grabbed his shirt. I was like, give me my phone, that's all I want is my phone. 
he pushed me off and he went in her room and tried to wake her up. And I followed in there again, trying to get my device back. And that's when he, we followed her bed. That's what woke her up. What did you up? Um, I, it felt like as I was looking down, it felt like, like right here in my head. So I don't have any knots, but I do have a cut on the side of my face. And my nose ring was ripped out. My lip was busted. And then I think that's about it. But yes, yeah, so at this point, we're tussling. So I'm holding on to him while he's still hitting me. So I push him into the bathroom because I'm trying to get him off of me. So he, he gets on top of me, he's stronger than me, so he pushes me down on the ground and now he's sitting on top of me, holding me like his hands around my neck like that. Could you breathe? So I couldn't breathe. It was getting harder and harder to breathe. So I'm like, get off me, get off me, get off me. Even my mom was out of breath yelling at him to get off me. He wouldn't let go at first. At some point I start biting him, but I guess that's what made me end up biting my lip because I was just trying to get him off of me. But he was squeezing pretty tight and I felt like I was about to lose consciousness. Okay. So eventually he did let go. She got us to separate, but he still tried to get over her. And that mean we were both just verbally going back and forth at this point until she got him out of the room. That was around 4 to 5 a.m. I just came out of my room and seen you guys here, so I don't know what happened just now for her to call y'all. Yo, y'all didn't call nothing. No I didn't call. As a matter of fact, you seen y'all was on FaceTime at the front. I was in my bathroom telling him about what's going on because he checked up on me. I let him know what happened. He was calling me back. Your friend? Yes. So when I opened the door and I seen you guys come through the door, that's when I was wondering what was going on because okay. I didn't know she called police. So he, how many times did he strike you? You know, I counted at least three times before. You know, I grabbed him and we were both just scuffling at that point. And when he put you in the headlock, when he put me in the headlock, breathe. I couldn't breathe. I felt myself losing consciousness. So I was. That's why I started trying to bite him, scratch, trying to do anything, get him off of me. When the police asked why they hadn't called earlier, she continued her explanation. And my mother tried to put her weight on him as well, but she said she couldn't breathe, so she had to step out the room for a moment. Why didn't Why didn't y'all call? At that time... Was he arguing with your mom tonight? Yes, I did hear the argument through the door. That's what prompted me to come out and I saw you guys coming in. Okay. The police then questioned Jacob and their mom, confirming the incidents that unfolded. The investigation progressed with more questions. Mom, did you ask why, uh, what, why are we here now instead of over 14 hours ago? Because at the she initial point, I asked him to leave. He left for a couple of hours. Okay, okay. He called and came back and said, okay, can I come and get a change of clothes until I figure out where I'm going? Okay. I allowed him back in. Okay. He then walked to get something to eat. I took a nap. I woke up. I'm still trying to reason with my son. Do you realize the point of when you contributed toward this with the escalation? You not take responsibility. So as an end result, he's telling me I'm wrong. F you friends. That's how I feel about it. I said, if you're going to keep disrespecting like this, get out of my house now. You no longer have 24 hours to figure out where you're going. He's burned all his bridges, sir. I got you. Um, he said, no, that, um, if you want me to leave, remove me. Did you get so that's fire? how you all got here. Yeah. One second, when my uh, child tells me, me, there's no more respect left. So he wants to be Billy. This is his opportunity now. I've saved him as long as I could. Jacob, when you put her in the headlock, were you squeezing? Yes, because I couldn't get hold his on, arm hold, loose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Try again. Whoa, whoa. I yeah. didn't block her out. I kept in the headlock. Were you squeezing? You could still have squeeze, but I didn't try to block her out. I was trying to fight her at that. But I put her in the leaf to have squeeze. Did she smoke the weed or? She couldn't. I asked for the weed and the leaf bed. And then she got mad, so I took the phone. I asked nicely. She kind of went to for one minute. She would not wake up. I took her arm. She still wouldn't wake up. That's when I took it to my own hands. I gave her a choice. I was having my weed back. She still got the same house. So I took her phone. And that's when I said, all right. I was like, now you know. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wake mama up. She still told that. Right? I told her, I said, you could, I'll give you a phone for the week. She wanted to go in the room and wake her up. And we got to fight him. Y'all still have the weed? Or did you smoke it last night? It's gone. Okay. All right. Do turn around. Put your hands on your back for me. Jacob was charged with aggravated assault and battery, family violence. 
What happens when a grandson's hidden abuse against his grandfather is unmasked before the eyes of law enforcement, forcing a confrontation with reality? After everything I have information, we do have enough to place you under arrest. Yeah. Okay. So um, they're just going to take you. On April 14th, 2024, Flagler County Sheriff's deputies responded to a report that a grandson had struck his grandfather. However, upon investigation, the deputies did not observe any injuries and left the scene. The deputy received new abuse allegations from the victim's out-of-state daughter. As the cops approached the man, they wanted to learn from him about the incident. He explained the situation from his perspective, which was not accurate. He claimed he had done nothing with his grandfather. Um, I guess there was some accusations that he was throwing items at you. and. Yeah, he tried to hit me with something, yeah. I got it on camera. So that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. um, you had sent that video to DCF, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I looked at the video. Mm -hmm. Can you... It, it's, the video is shaky and it's kind of blurry, so I mm -hmm. can't really tell what's going on. Can you okay, so pretty much explain to me what, when he, what happened when, in the video? Okay, so I woke up. I usually go get coffee in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. And I woke up and the house was like at 90 degrees. And I, I guess he was like tripping or something. And it was feces on the kitchen counter, mm -hmm. on the side, and on the floor, and on the doormat on the inside and outside. Um, so if you look, you see that that doormat was there for years. Yeah. And it was one on the inside. I got it on video. So I go in the room, and I say, Poppy, man, you got to help me clean this up. And he, he, he gets up, and he says, you crazy. I, I cleaned the house last night. And I'm like, you didn't clean the house at all you know like something's going on like help me clean this up i don't want to clean up feces i'm just going like in the details so he gets up and starts going crazy like eight i'm like i, I ain't seen him like that you know what i'm saying waking me out of my sleep you so i i walk out the room and he said why well, i'm not cleaning so some kind of way he got to the doorway and by his and his back was by his uh, dresser oh, no. in, in his doorway. And then- In his room? Yeah, in his room. Okay. So when his back was at his dresser, he said, man, get the f out of my way. And I said, man, I'm not moving. Like, you don't, you don't tell me what to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that, like we're talking. Now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I see his little flare gun on the bed. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, so he tries to pick up something and the room, the room is like uh, a little dark. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It was like a little dark. So it's not like actual light, like okay. what we see. And he's reaching for something and he tries to come across and hit me. And I, I, I can I demonstrate, but not demonstrate? Just tell me. No, no, oh, okay, okay. So, so I push him on the bed, right? I push him on the bed and restrain him. And then he just starts going crazy. I'm gonna up, I'm gonna kill you. Da -da -da -da. So I let him up, right? I let him up because he's not a normal 91 year old. That's what people fail to realize about him. He's hit or miss. Do you okay. get what I'm saying? Like he still drives, he still does stuff, and then he'll go blank. Okay. And he's strong, like he still walks around the house, fixes stuff. All the neighbors can attest to this. So he still has like bits of confusion and everything, right. but usually he's sane and able to go. and Able to go, right. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. So. So I had to restrain him because he tried to pick up an item and hit me, right? So I let him go, and then he comes out, and then something said, man, pull out your phone, because this never happened. So that's when I get it on camera, what he was trying to throw at me. He was trying to throw, now I found out it was plastic. It was a plastic uh, thing with a with a with um, with an aluminum cylinder at the bottom. Okay. So I, it, it looked like, you know, like it was yeah. heavy, right? So I was like, oh, shit. So on the camera, he tries to throw it at me. I'm going to get you. You know what I'm saying? So I got that on camera. And then something happened, and then we, we got close to each other again. So he goes to pick up the cylinder right by the TV and pop me across the head. And that's when I pushed him and pushed him down, and then I got it from his hands. And then I was telling, like, the camera, you know, like my grandmother, like, everything's fine. So that's that's tr pretty much what happened because okay. he was like he was like this close to me trying to pick the the cylinder up. Right. Okay. I, I got it all on camera. You get what I'm saying? But um, the the biggest thing with him is people don't understand that 
he is an active 91 year old. He's not your average uh, frail. Yeah, he's moving around pretty good in there when we're talking to him and stuff. So t tough. They, they they don't make him like him no more. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not like I'm just taking advantage of him. I had to protect myself because if he hits me over the head, anything can happen. I, I've had four concussions. You get what I'm saying? I have a handicap sticker in my car right now you know what i'm saying i've been in bad accidents okay so it's nothing so like, you've had previous head injuries and oh, stuff like hell that yeah okay hell yeah i got previous head injuries. okay so that's why you were worried about him throwing it yeah, yeah i didn't know how heavy it was even though it was gonna clink clink on the yeah. floor it had a metal piece you just didn't know it was gonna i didn't it. know okay. if it was a, a solid aluminum piece so I, I i didn't know but i was i'm not taking no chances because he could hit me with something and I could black out. You get what I'm yep. saying? Yeah. So um, until then, nothing really ever transpired like that. That was the first time that it ever got physical between me and him. But what I've been dealing with is a beret of insults constantly. Like I'm talking about for the past two or three months. Okay. He's just very negative, just all around the house. Valentine denied any abuse, attributing his grandfather's condition entirely to poor health. He claimed to have everything recorded on his phone, but the video footage was dark and unusable. Valentine then mentioned having another video that would provide a clearer picture and promised to send it to the deputies. I, I even got some of it on video. Okay. He'll come to the door because telling him the right thing to do is the wrong thing to do nowadays. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And he'll come to the door. <gasps> Go boom, 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 beating on the door. You don't tell me what to do. See that nobody sees all this. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Right. So um, I've been dealing with that just to myself. My grandmother knows, but she's gonna side with him because they one and the same. They could do no wrong to. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. they they stick together pretty much. Yeah. So that's that's honestly what happened. It wasn't like I was uh taking advantage of right. him. Yeah. Well, that's I'm on my exit strategy, working, you know, doing Uber at night and looking for a job to get out of here. Okay. Because I just want to leave him alone right. at this point because if they don't sign any paperwork for me, it's nothing I really can do. Yeah. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like, when she flipped the switch, I, he literally, I asked to help him up. I didn't get that on camera. He literally crawled from his room all the way cursing me out. Did you see that on video? He was, okay, see, she she sent. I hate when people do that. So I got him on video telling me he was gonna kill me crawling okay. across the floor. I said, you gonna do it? I'm gonna hurt you. Do you when still he, have that video? Yeah. If I give you my email, can you send me the whole video? So yeah, we have I, the whole video so that yeah. it's not yeah, I can bits send you, and pieces. Yeah, I, can, I mean, I can send you everything that I have. Um, I gotta go to the AT&T store. Cause I don't have the Wi-Fi here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, I can send you everything, man. Because what I started doing is documenting mm -hmm. the activity, yeah. even from. Which is good. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 because I have to protect myself. That's why I won't even change my grandmother. She goes to the bathroom because she flipped the switch so fast, based off what he said, mm -hmm. and I never struck him. I only restrained him. I never struck him. Okay. Yeah. I would not hit my grandfather, but I'm gonna protect myself. Right. You know, I. After I read up on dementia, I understood, you know, yeah. what it entails a little bit. Yeah. So I just, I don't bother, man. Well, like I said, and that was left out of the report. Like, we didn't know that you had uh -huh. any injuries to your head and stuff like that, yeah. like multiple injuries and stuff like that. We didn't know any of that stuff. Yeah. So that's, cool. that's good for us to know so that we can document that in our report and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah if he's able oh. to give you his... I'll give you my card with the, uh, okay. the email address on it. Yeah, okay. And uh, so that way you can email me the whole video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll get you the uh, the other pieces to the video. Cause yeah. I know I know how people are, man. I I know how society works. And at the end of the day, I'm not trying to bring up color, but I'm a black male. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And people use a narrative to escape what's really going on. She, the other guy that was the uh, social, he did a, a, a case first. His name was Bill. Okay. The same how I was running the house before all this stuff happened. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'll be glad to share anything. Okay. You can call me. So right. you got your car? I I walked in the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'll get on that. Uh, I'll send that email with everything okay. over. I got to go to the AT and T store because I use their Wi Fi. Okay. I'll send it. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, no problem. We just yeah. rather have it so that we can document everything on our side. Yeah. We just got, like I said, DCF dropped this on us and was uh -huh. like, hey, this is what we have. And we're like, yeah. yeah, we need more information. Right, right. Now, I appreciate you stopping by because it allows me 
to tell my side versus what you guys are being told. Yeah. Sometimes I know dealing with elderly, they just come right away and pick you up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which isn't fair, but it's two sides to the story. And um, I did call the police. Yeah. Okay. They didn't call the police on me. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank um, you. Oh, no, I'm going to do it today. I'm about to get up and start going, um, and then I have to go to the AT&T store, and I'll send it directly to you. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right, All right thanks, sir. Have a good day. Yeah, hit me on my g neck. No, I did not. You did hit me on my god. Oh, God. Wait a minute, Mom. Pick that. Move. Stop doing that. Mom. Do not pick anything up. Mom. Do Mom. not pick anything up. I'll pick a god. Don't you? Mom. Give me this. Give me this. Stop acting irrational. Are you trying Stop why, that. Why did you get this from me out of here? This dude is crazy. Picking up bottles. I got it all on camera. He's okay, Grandma. Just chill out. I ain't okay. Get out of here. After reviewing the video, deputies returned to the house with a DCF employee to confront Valentine. He continued to claim that his grandfather's health issues were the cause and felt unjustly accused, maintaining he was innocent and implying his actions were justified. Hey, Willie. What's up? Mr. Jones. Is, uh, uh right here? Okay. Huh? Y'all wanna lock him up? Yeah. Y'all wanna lock him up? No, we didn't talk to him. Yeah. Y'all wanna lock him up? No, I didn't say that. I was just gonna talk to him. Okay. Yeah, not bad. How about yourself? Yeah, I did it out. They want you outside. They want you. They want you out of here. When I and there are never been in jail, never been normal. I got down here every week so much time to police is here. What's going on today? Hmm? How's everything going today? Yeah. Alright, take it easy. Alright, my man. What's going on? How you doing, man? Alright. My name is Detective Malt with the Sheriff's Office, okay? Okay. Um, there's a detective down by my car that wants to just talk to you, okay? I guess about the whatever case has been going on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. Something I talked to you yesterday about. Yeah, I sent everything to... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. To yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I sent it. you. have any weapons on you, man? No. No? Alright, we're just gonna walk down here. I don't know. Good challenge. What's going on? Um, the detective pulling up, asked to come over here and grab you, and she wants to talk to you, I guess you got some questions for her. Well, like, well, about the, uh... Yeah, about the original, yeah, whatever, about the you know, whatever the original video yeah, sent me and stuff. Ah. Hey, what's going on? Man, let's touch on this one. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. Pretty cool. I was just about to go do her laundry. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she. Yeah, because after what happened was, right, I don't go in her room, I don't do anything. Like, because it's such an uncomfortable, like, in the click of a switch, it just changed. Like, you can ask anybody around here. I've been down here for like six or seven months. Stuck. Mm -hmm. Stuck. He has dementia. Like, it's the, it's the worst Is situation. He, he won't go. Everybody's like stepping in on this situation. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the issue. Like, and I'm really pissed off because okay. I've been doing every single thing by the book. 
everything, right? I'm talking about wiping my mother's ass, cleaning her room, like religiously. Mm -hmm. He acts up one morning and gets physical because of the dementia. And I've been dealing with this for months on end with him just saying violent stuff to me out of the way. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's, it's, it's the weirdest thing that I'm dealing with. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's why I'm here. I want yeah. to find out everything. Yeah, talk. like. Yeah, we can it, just talk. Like, yeah. It's just, it's just terrible. Like, I'm yeah. just tired of it. Like, so it's when a, did all this start? Like, when you said you moved down? It there? started, it, it, it okay. just, it started when I moved down. Like, it's just been when terrible. Like, since November. Okay. I've been here since November. Like, I'm tired. Like, I'm getting mentally drained. Like, I don't f police. Like, mm -hmm. straight up. I mind my business. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the questions, everything. Like, I'm tired of it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just to a boiling point now. Like, it's just nerve wracking. Okay. And you said you've been doing it since, like, November? Since November. My mother's been full of shit. Straight up. I got everything. There's in home care nurses, though, right? Huh? No. No? no. So who comes here a couple times a day? It's it's only the uh it's only the uh the hospice because she was on hospice and I did everything to revive her back. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Diet prep everything. So this is just big <laughs> shit, man. And I'm not crying. I don't really care. I'm just saying the sun. I mean, do you want to go on a shave? No, nah, I'm chilling. Oh, I'm okay. all right. It's just I'm I'm tired. Like nobody should be here. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just. To the well, point I didn't where, come here because I woke up and wanted to come here today. No, nah, I mean, I, I, I mean, you I get I mean? it, but you know what I'm saying? This is, it's, he, Florida has so many stupid laws that protect the elderly mm -hmm. that it hurts the people trying to help them, if that makes sense. Okay. Because they... The DCF employee is seeking a clear statement from Valentine about the entire matter. During this time, he thoroughly described the incident with his grandfather, including discussing the video clip. However, according to the DCF employee, this video may not be able to fully ascertain the entire incident. Incident that started all this. The what do you mean what happened? It's, it's him every... He the wakes one, up a new person. Where he got That's what I'm saying. If he wakes up a new person. You don't know how he's going to wake up. So what I did was... I called the police, I videotaped it, right? And this is this gets me on a detective's car, right? For doing the right thing because of the state we're in. You get what I'm saying? That doesn't make any sense. They didn't call, I called. I, I sent the Well, there's the video. been multiple calls. Call, yeah, but guess what? If you pull the receipts on all of the calls and I have them in my bedroom, mm -hmm. the, uh, the incident reports, they only called one time because I took the knobs off the stove. They wanted me kicked out the house because he leaves the stove on. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go back to that incident. You said he got for the first time. Like, yeah, it did, did you run it through how you? I mean, I, I it? ran it through to him yesterday and it's on the video. That's just that's just it. Like he, I, it, I mean, I, I just talked to you yesterday. I, I know, just, I know you talked to him. I know, but I, I know you're probably I, I done just, talking about this, but yeah, yeah like I, I, I mean, I, I to talk to you. Like I'm, I'm telling you, right? This is a family matter, whether he's elderly or not. If you want to do anything to help, take him to a facility to get him diagnosed, because everybody comes here says he has dementia, but nobody's helping me. I'm the one that's just stuck dealing with. It. Nobody's, it's like, you can't do nothing in the state of Florida. Like, I, I even called the number that I had, right, to help him, and they said, oh, we don't do it in Flagler County. So I can't physically take him out of his own house. I'm just stuck. I'm in the room. Like, I don't even talk to them anymore after that happened, because it's so uncomfortable. And the, um, and the social worker told me this months in. You can Which call one? her, uh, Jennifer. She okay. said, she said, be careful, Brandon, because they can switch like this. And God is my witness. That's what happened. I did nothing wrong. Nothing. Okay, so let's talk about the DCF report that just came in today mm -hmm. about a firearm. What do you mean? I, 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 I don't You tell me. You said what? there's only X amount of reports that were taken. What's the one with the firearm? What, what Are you fire? aware of that one? What firearm? What, what? Do you own a firearm? Wait, I have my personal weapon. Okay, I'm asking you a question I, if I you own it. All right, because there was a GCF report that came in. Do you want to hear it? No, because I don't even bring my firearm around him. It's to the car when I leave because I keep my 
firearm with me and in the room. It doesn't skate around unless I come in the house and I'm unloading groceries. I don't even participate in them games. So don't even, I, like, I'm really getting, like, super pissed off because I'm actually a good guy doing the right thing. And it's very embarrassing to me in this community. I've been coming down here 30 years. 30 years, right? 30 years. 30 years. It's never been incidents called until they got older. Does that make any logical sense to any human being standing here? Does that make any sense? I've been coming down here, dribbling up and down this street for 30 years, and I'm getting questioned by people that feel they're doing their job, and nothing's wrong but two people going, getting older that don't want to leave. They don't understand change. They, they can't do it by themselves. They can't run it. Don't you understand that? It's not me. It's not me. I took the I took the things off the stove. They call the police. I say something to do something right. They call the police because people have executed this dynamic to them that it's okay. You talking about Who's a the people? You whoever whoever it is. I've never the, met them. I've never I, met I know, you. but okay. So whoever is backlogging this that channels the information to you is full of shit, ma'am. Trust me. I'm telling you. I've been coming down here off and on, sacrifice some elder years of my life. I'm 41 years old. Every neighbor can attest to this. I come down here, right, and do welfare checks on them and my own mother won't do it. I've, been, I've, I've lost travel time that I can't even get back and I'm sitting on a detective's car getting questioned about a video I took. I took the video. I know. I called out of my own safety because it did get to that point and I need help because people need to recognize what's going on in the house. Okay, we were notified you sent that video because a DCF report was generated. So you're now under investigation through DCF. The DCF mm -hmm. worker said you sent that to say, hey, this is what I'm going through. Right. So you didn't send that out of your own like will. Well, you sent that I, in defense this, of them no, no, it, no, it's no defense, ma'am. Two officers. The man attempts to clarify to the DCF employee that he was defending himself from his grandfather, who threw a bottle at him. However, it appears that his explanation hasn't persuaded them. Because he even tried to hit me in front of the officer. And the officer said, hey, look, if you do that again, I'm going to have to detain you. So it's not, I'm doing everything I can responsibly. So I get what you're saying, but you don't know the output that I've already given. Do you understand that? The officer physically saw my grandfather have the bottle and he was like, oh, nigga, da, da, da. and he said, hey, if you do that again, I'm going to have to detain you. They didn't put that in the report. I called the police for my own safety. I've been coming down here with, with a gun forever. It's, it's that they're old and they're trying to get things done their way. They huddle up in the room and they think anybody is trying to do anything. If you come over here, you come over here, they're gonna huddle up against you. It's just something that I'm going through. It's more of a family matter. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to get through to people to understand. How the hell does a black male that has been raised in this house come here for over 30 years, right? They've been living in this house since 93. I got pictures that prove my identity in this house, right? Okay. How, how do they start calling the police now? What? Why I mean, am that's I, why I'm here. I'm, right, but but what? But why am I a problem now? Like, does well, that now make? There's allegations. Right, that, but allegedly versus what? Well, there was a video. Right. Do you that's want to what I'm explain saying. your side of that video? I, I told him yesterday. I mean, yesterday. we can watch it together if you want. No, nah, I, I told him yesterday. Like, I have a head injury. That is true. I've been in several car accidents. I have a handicap sticker. Anything tries to hit me, I'm gonna protect myself in the head. That's what I'm saying. I don't know that the the the, the, uh, the thing what it was if it was metal on the bottom of the bottle I'm not taking chances so I moved him out of the way he just happened to fall and I took it out of his hand I didn't punch him or do anything like it's in the video I took the video then I sent it to the DCF worker she tells me oh the state of Florida doesn't um we don't um look at videos that uh, are are done by one party Where's the help? Whoa. What's going on? Like, like my 91 year old grandfather is gonna have a video, video of me, like taking a video of me back. Like, I'm trying to help myself. This is the first time it ever got like that. But he's getting older, he aging. Like, I, I don't know. Like, what do you want me to do? 
What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I just, I'm just asking. You're asking me what I want you to yeah, do? Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I'm asking. What, 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 what else can I do other than be, do things the right way? I'm trying to do everything the right way. Okay, let's circle back to the relationship with you and your mom. Mm -hmm. um, you said, you know, she was one of the RPs that had called in, reporting party of what occurred. Yeah, I mean. So but, where would she get that information from? Because I guess my grandmother told her. Just like the time I came from playing basketball, mm -hmm. and that's in an incident report, my grandfather fell, f***ed up his face. Like, it's, it's, like, I'm talking about, like, you would think a robber came in and f***ed him up and took something, right? I came in from playing basketball. She still called the police saying I hit him. I didn't touch him. So, does she suffer from any mental illnesses? I, I don't know about my life. I don't know what she does, but anybody that calls... I mean, you're spending time with her. What is your grandmother like? What's huh? your day-to-day? -day? You mean my, my grandmother? Correct. She has, like, slight dementia. She goes with whatever size. Diagnosed? Huh? She's diagnosed? I, I, I don't know. I don't... I don't. She she forgets stuff. You say, hey, you, I'm a fix... You've been here since November. What yeah. do you know about them? I know everything about them. They, they okay. have slight dementia, but it's not what people come in and, 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 and jot down. You have to be with them because they open up like light bulbs. Like, they have a light bulb effect. Like, if, if we in the house chilling, they'll forget it all day. And sometimes remember it. But if you guys come in a new face, you'll never know that they have it. You have to sit. You have, it's a process with them. Just like him. He gets up and he drives. Mm -hmm. All, every neighbor that comes by here, why you ain't take the keys? You know why I haven't took the keys yet? Because I don't want to get into an incident with him. Because he is a dangerous old man. He'll f*** my car up. That's how petty he is. That's why I haven't took the keys. I took the, I took the, the knobs off the stove. He beat on my door for five days. You get out of my house. You piece of shit. We can't cook. Mm -hmm. I didn't call the police. Why'd you take the knobs off? He forgets. He'll he'll cook fish. He'll call him. He'll cook breakfast. He'll just leave and go in the room with the stove running. I have that documented on video too. Okay, so back to that video that you recorded. Mm -hmm. What led up to that incident? I know there were some other videos about him defecating all over the house. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's just a simple thing. Because all I have is this video, yeah. and I'm trying to get your backstory and how it led up to I mean, him getting just, pushed on the ground. It, he didn't get pushed on the ground. I saw the video. He got pushed on the ground. No, I we did, can watch it together. No, I, I did not. Okay. I'm protecting myself, right? He went to grab it in a way to hit me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, nobody's hitting if, look at me. I'm, I'm I'm a well built. If I strike or do anything of harm to him, it will get done. It'll get served right then and there. It's absolutely right. that knowledge in your mind. Right. Why didn't you walk away from him versus going towards? Didn't him? didn't you see? Didn't you see him throw the bottle at me? In this situation, when the cops reached a final conclusion, they took legal action against the man. Ultimately, the police learned a complex lesson from his grandfather. He's gonna grab his phone. He's gonna grab his phone from his room. Why he ain't talking out no right? He don't take nothing no right. No, no, he's gonna. He's gonna I give that lady money when he got. We don't have no money. He's just gonna grab his phone from his room to that, show us something. That's all. Yeah, cause I don't. I'm tired of this. They always coming here with the same. My son don't take no money. I got. No, no, he said that. He no, said, no, he's not saying it is. She's she coming, like he's still some like Yeah. Because when I came in, I was going to do the, uh, get put the load, the clothes in the, uh, I was going to use the, uh, use the bathroom and put the clothes in there. Yeah. But then I was like, man, let me just lay down before I go to the laundromat for two hours. Yeah, I got you. Because she got comforters and stuff that got to be turned out. Okay. So this is the lady's number, Beth. But she's she's the lady from the church that comes to help. Okay. That no, but I'm saying I want you to call her because she knows everything that's going on in the house, and she's the one that's well, saying. That's Pam's number, but no, I, I just click the top so I, I can know. get her number. Yeah, all right. I'm just saying this is the text that she sent me today, saying that um she comes in the house. Well, after talking to you, mm -hmm. after everything I have information, we do have enough to place you under arrest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, they're just going to take you. 
Valentine was charged with abuse of elderly or disabled adult without great harm and battery, a person over 65. Witness the story where a pizza slice became the wedge between love and law, turning their dinner table into a crime scene where every topping masked deeper issues. Hey, puppy. Hi. We're gonna detain you real quick, okay? Thank you, buddy. Because we're retaining you, we're gonna ask you a couple of questions. Charges are, and when it's over, there is no sneaking, there's no nothing. It's just a simple battery, it's a misdemeanor, that's all we have. On March 17th, 2023, in Florida, police responded to a report that Ortelio Lazaro Alfonso was involved in a domestic dispute that spiraled into violence. Upon arriving at the scene, police officers confronted Ortelio, whose suspicious presence in the backyard heightened their concern. It's supposed to be the address, yeah. but there's no damn new merits. What's your address here, young man? Oh, that. That's real bad. Three, four, eight? Yeah, I think so. Alright, we're coming in, okay? Do you have any dogs or anything? Yeah, I got dogs. Where what? are they at? In the cages. Okay. okay. Stay with my partner, talk to him. Yeah. Let me go talk to your wife, please. <clears throat> dogs are in the cages, you say? Yeah, yeah. They're in there. Okay. I had a little thing. She got mad because she's hitting on him, and I got all upset about it. That's fine. That's all it was. Let's go in the shade because I don't feel like getting skin cancer today. Me neither, man. I'm working the right. same Okay. I work for Baby, so. Bent up, Bobby Ring! Come here, little kid. Make it. Make it, daddy. It's all right. Just let him go to mommy then. Sir, senor, stay over here. You stay right here. God, man. Let me see your hands. Go like this, senor. Turn them around. Okay. What's all over your face? What? Looks like you got a warrant on Yeah, I was eating pizza and sitting there. Okay. Mommy, right there, Bobby. Yeah, he got mad at you, like you said, disciplining him, so. Which ain't against the law, especially when your kids are being bad. Right. What kind of dog you got? A little pit. A little pit bull? Yeah, and I got two bigger ones in Chad's cage. Okay. Yeah, he just pizza. We can pizza at each other. Okay. So for him. Look this way. And stay in the shade, okay? Yeah, I didn't do nothing to him, man. You got, any, you got a license on this? No, I don't want a license. Like an ID or anything? Yeah, I got a ID. Was, how old is your son? Two years old. Two. Not him. Oh, him, 16. Okay. The officer, a couple years back, cut the side. They can't use it as a driver's license. Only a regular ID. You ain't. Thank you, man. Thank you, daddy. Oh, my God. He's getting on the road, too, man. Mary and LGR. It's your birthday, you said? Not my birthday, no. Oh. My birthday is January 9th. 6227. No, I'm saying him. He turned two on October 24th. Florida deal. When the cops interacted with the woman, she began describing the events leading to her husband's violent outburst. Later, the officers had a brief exchange with the woman's stepchild, adding more layers to the mystery. So we got here. The baby was fussing. I went ahead and I pulled his pants down and I whooped him. Pulled his pants down, literally, and I whooped him right here. Okay. He's my kid. I can parent my son the way I want to parent. Is he your child and his child he together? He is my child and his child, yeah. Okay. He uh, got upset and started going and started going and pointing his fingers at me, going and grabbed the pizza and went ahead and slapped me with the pizza. He went ahead and slapped me with the pizza and didn't do anything to him. That's my son. All I was doing was parenting my son. Where did he hit you with the pizza? On my face. What's that on the back of your shirt? This probably pizza. Okay, so probably you were pizza. not like that? No, no, I was not like this. Let me lower your chest real quick. Did he do anything else to you? Uh, no, because when he went to come at me, I kind of like threw myself on the floor. And um, we were just tussling on the floor, but it wasn't like he didn't like, hit me or anything. But he did grab, he did hit me with a pizza multiple times. Okay. Went ahead, finger in my face, like, you know, multiple times. Right. I don't have the strength that he does, so I can't go ahead and I can't do anything this about happened, it. This happened inside? Were you here? I was right here. You didn't see anything? Nope, just heard. Did you hear? What'd you hear? Just them on, on the floor. Did Screaming. Go? Did you walk in and see them on the floor or anything? Stayed, mm -hmm. stayed the entire time. Yeah. How are you related to them? That's my dad. That's your dad. And that's your stepmom? My stepmom. Yeah. Police officers began conversing among themselves, assessing the situation inside the house and the condition of the violated woman, piecing together the unsettling events. Mary and Emily, she said she got slapped with a pizza. Did you hear that? It's so damn loud. There's pizza sauce all over the interior of the house, like the roof everywhere. Um, she's got sauce all over her shirt. And he's just got a little bit on his chin. It looks like from splattering. So she's got some like, looks like crumbs in her hair um, and maybe some sauce in her ear. And he just has a little bit in his beard for it looks like from, you know, when you, if you hit an object and it actually bounces back. Yeah, there's splatter yeah. everywhere. So the batter is better. Come on. PC. Yeah. I see like it's some terrible. sauce. It's like very minimal sauce like in her ear and like some crust and flakes that looks like from like the crust itself. Police officers detained Ortelio, pulling him aside for questioning. Hey, Bobby. <sighs> Hi. We're gonna detain you real quick, okay? Thank you, buddy. 
because we're retaining you, we're going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay? But because you're in handcuffs, I have to read you your notes. Okay? You understand English yeah. well enough? Okay. Ortelio candidly explained his actions, revealing that the attack stemmed from a disagreement over his wife's discipline of their child. He opposed her methods, leading to the violent confrontation. What happened? I just threw it at him. I got mad, she was hitting on my baby. That's it. I just threw it at him. Grabbed it from the box and blah! Well, she got mad when I did that, she grabbed the whole box and just threw it. Did you hit her with the box? No. I hit it with a pizza. A slice of pizza. A slice? Yes. It's like grabbed it and just threw it at him. Okay. Where did you make contact with her? Right in the face. No, not my hand. I know, I know, I know but... It's the pizza. Oh, you get it hit like on the side right there, that's I'll it. I'll give you a demonstration of since you of regular rights. If this is out of uniform, if I'm fighting with my brother, which would be domestic, and I take a shovel, I try to swing at him, and the shovel f flies out of my hand and magically hits him in his face, I still get charged. My action was to hit him with the shovel just because the shovel came out of my wrist and fingers and hit him in the face because I physically didn't hold the shovel when I hit him. Right. I did it still, just like with the pizza, when you threw it at your wife's face. So, unfortunately, by Florida law, we have to make an arrest, okay? This is domestic violence, is taken very seriously. I already see the evidence inside the house. There's pizza all over the wall. She has pizza in her face and her hair. I mean, unfortunately. That's when she grabbed it, and the whole bunch of were crazy. <laughs> all the pizzas, we just what happened? pizza right now. What happened after that? That's it. Time she just kept on screaming. Y'all didn't go to the floor, y'all stayed standing the entire That's time, it. just yeah. argumentative. Why no. was she disciplining the child in the first place? I don't know, because, I don't know, I want to eat something. Okay, let me ask you this. I got pissed off, you know? We're 10 four shows one time. Let me ask you this. Um, do you have a disagreement in how to discipline your child? Do you, like, physically hit your child and she doesn't, it or it's backwards? It depends. Okay. So, you guys don't agree sometimes on the parents. Right. Okay. So, you didn't agree with her. Right. Her... This one yes. right. and because of that, you guys got into an argument right. and then it led to The police detained Ortelio and explained the reasons for his arrest. They confiscated his belongings and prepared to take him to jail. Okay. All right, well, fortunately, I got to take him to jail. Um, I mean, you can get a bond tomorrow, but you can't get one today. Unfortunately, it's just domestic violence and we have to take care of it. There's nothing we can do. There's no way around it. Unfortunately, if he or I don't make an arrest on this, we're going to be fired or get arrested ourselves. And I like my job and I like my house enough to not go to jail. Or move my house. Okay. Petty, but at the end of the day, don't throw stuff at your wife. Walk away from her. I resist you know somebody because they threw water on him, his significant other. Yeah. And sprayed her with the water hose. Oh. And sprayed the TV. And sprayed the living room floor. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just unlock it. Yeah, I got to do DV papers. Okay. But do this one. Yeah, man. Too. Friday, too, man. I know, I know. Wow. I'm water in this one. Where y'all from? From Orlando, Florida. Orlando? I'm Cuban. She's Puerto Rican. Cuban. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go. Damn, it's hot out here, son. Yeah, man. I'm working with you. I'm. Every day. I would rather work in the sun without this uniform on. Would be real nice. Oh man, I'm like, bad. Right now. <laughs> I gotta wear this on the I don't wanna get burned. Aries, go. Thank you, brother. You gonna pull a pants up here? Pull them on. I ain't gonna mess with you, dog. Pizza all over your pants. Ah. What's wrong? Uh, hold up, I'll get them on. Uh, wait, 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 hold on, don't move them out. I'll get them out, I'll get them out, hold on. Look at that, stuck right there. Oh, oh you're, 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 put them up front, okay? There's no line left there. I know, I know, because you're, you're twisting them, okay? Oh, where's that? Oh, you got the wallet, right? Yeah, I got everything on top of Officers returned inside the house to inform the woman of her husband's detention. The baby in question continued to cry beside her, adding to the tension of the moment. Okay. Yes. So here's what happens. I'm sorry, little man. He's gonna take a ride with me. We're gonna go somewhere, okay? You're gonna stay with mommy. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Arius. Huh? I'm Arius. Hey, daddy. Is it locked? It yep. So, unfortunately, hey, in the state daddy. of Florida, it's domestic violence. We have to make an arrest. Hey, I can see you have pizza sauce and crust in your hair. Hey, I see sauce all over the house. Hey, okay. Daddy. He admitted to me hey, that he did it. So, by Florida law, I have to make an arrest. Okay. Hey, because daddy. of things, the way things have happened in the past, hey, well, fortunately, he has to be arrested. And with that being said, is he's probably not going to be allowed to come back here per the judge. Okay. Hey, so, I don't know where he can stay, but he probably can't come back here. And he probably is going to be told that he can't contact you. Okay, I have some paperwork to give you. Um, I need you to give me a written statement of what you told me already. Super simple. You got into an argument because you were disappointing him. You didn't like the way he told me he didn't agree with the way you were disappointing him. And 
is what it is. The cops, pleased with Ortelio's cooperative behavior during the arrest process, politely explained the upcoming legal procedures and advised him on how to avoid further trouble. Thank you, bro. Oh, so hot in here. Oh, let me turn up the AC for you, bro. Yeah, I, got I got pulled question. up front. If yes, I sir. go tomorrow, you say I, go, I see the judge? Mm -hmm. So I can be able to get out? Yes. yes. So, by law, there's a 24-hour period. There's no bond, okay, for everybody who's charged with any domestic crimes. Um, although this is just a misdemeanor amount, this is not the end of the world. This doesn't mean you're going to go to prison or anything crazy. This is just a misdemeanor, okay? With that being said, is tomorrow morning, you'll go in front of a judge. The judge will say, yes, give him a bond, and he'll tell you how much it is. Okay, this is a simple battery, probably about a 1000 bucks. But you, if you've never been arrested, and you've probably never been arrested, so I'm going to tell you the rest of it. 10% is what you usually use if you use a bondsman. So a bondsman would 10% you. So let's say the judge on off chance says $2,000, 200 bucks gets you out the door, or 100 bucks. Whatever he says, 10% generally is the rule across the board. Okay? So with that being said, is the judge might also tell you some stipulations and says, hey, don't come back here. Don't contact her until this is over. I my only house I got. You might have to stay with a friend. But they're going to tell you, most likely, in about 99% of these cases, you're not allowed to come back here. You're not allowed to talk to her. You're not allowed to do anything until it's all over and said and done with. Okay? And how, when is that? Whenever the court system says, hey, it's over and done with. So if the charges get filed, not filed, whatever ends up happening with the state attorney's office. Okay? Um, ultimately, they'll tell you what the charges are and when it's over. There is no sneaking. There's no nothing. It's just a simple battery. It's a misdemeanor. That's all we have. Okay? But you have to wait for the court process to be over. If you get caught back over here and the judge says you were not supposed to be here, you're going to get rearrested for violation of bond conditions, okay? So don't call her, don't text her. All of these stipulations are going to apply because he's going to tell you that tomorrow. He or she. He, will, he or she will tell you, hey, don't call her, don't have your son relay a message, don't have your friend tell her, hey, do this, do that. You'll get violated, you'll go right back to jail, and then they're going to no bond you until the whole case is over. So it could be three, four months. That will be locked up the entire time because you violated, okay? So do not do that to yourself, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Oh, no, You've been do. super chill with me so far, so I don't want to do that to you. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on. In the car, the officer engaged Ortelio in friendly chatter, discussing the positive and bad times they had experienced while living in the area. Yeah, man, I've only been here in Marion County seven years. Uh, I've probably been here right around the same time. Yeah? I didn't grow up here. No, me neither. I'm from Orlando. Born and raised in Orlando. I'm sorry. That must have been hell living down there. <laughs> oh, my God. That's too busy it, for me down there, bro. It is. Hell yeah. I hate to even just driving that way. Right. Where, where were you uh, raised at? Uh, Jacksonville and Putnam County. Oh, okay. Which is even worse. Right. It's not much better. Oh, I bet. I watch a lot of on my phone. I watch a lot of cops, and I see a lot in, Jackson, in Jacksonville. Holy s***. A lot of chases and stuff. Speed, the highway uh, chase and s***. Me and him, we're both on cops. I, mine's been years ago now. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, We've shit. both been on TV. Yeah? I didn't want to be on TV. It was just kind of one of those things that happened. Oh, shit. We didn't get, you know, you don't get told. It just, right. It is happening. It happened, right. You don't get to choose when it happens. They're like, hey, you're going to be on TV. I'm like, I don't want to be on TV, bro. <laughs> no, I don't know. People are cruel, man. They've been right. making fun of us. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't have Dude, that. Shit. No, I don't know. But he called him my phone, huh? Somebody. Probably my grandma. Your grandma? Probably. Your grandma live in the area? She lives right next, she used to live right next, next door. She just moved to Orlando. Her daughters and stuff, my aunt. She lives right next door. Her house is right next door. My yeah, most people there. that live back here are family. Right, yeah, we're all family. And you know where I live at right there. I live right there. <laughs> I don't go nowhere, bro. If it ain't right there, it's on my cousin down the street and my grandma's house right next door my uncle. That's it. That's it, bro. Least thing I want is trouble, man. Least thing I want. I think I picked the wrong job for that. <laughs> yeah. I find it every day, bro. Every day, bro. Good, Lord. What, you just started uh, right now your shift or are you going home soon? I was supposed to go home in a few hours. It's oh. all right. Yeah, Overtime, right. I guess. Overtime, right? I don't really care for it. Right. I'd much rather be home on time, bro. Right. I tell people all that. They're like, oh, no, about the over. No, bro, I don't care about no overtime. I won't be home. <laughs> you got kids? No, I don't have kids. Oh, no kids? I, I got alone. four kids. I, got li I, I can't have kids, bro. No? No, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared they're going to turn out to be bad. And then, <laughs> that's my biggest fear, bro, because I know <laughs> I gave my mom and dad help. Right. No, I mean, I'm scared. I didn't give them help for nothing, man. I'm telling you, man, I'm a good guy, man. I mean, you know what? I gave him hell, and that's why I turned out to be a good adult, because you know right. what? My mom did, my mom wasn't afraid to hit me. Right. I don't know. My parents neither. <laughs> my Hispanic, dad neither, boy. My Hispanic parents don't play. Right. What, what race are you? Uh, my, parent, uh, my family's from Cuba. Huh? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> what part? Uh, San Jose La Laja. Okay, my family's from Camagüey. Oh, from Camagüey. Oh, hell yeah. So my mom and dad did not play. They're old school Hispanics. Right. Oh, hell yeah. No joke, boy. 
Yeah, bro. But I've never been to Cuba, though, ever in my life. Neither have I. Never, never. ever. I wanted to go, but you know what? There's so much going right. on over there. Yeah, no, I'm good. I don't think I'll ever get a chance to yeah, go. Yeah, no, this I'm right. good. I'll stay here, man. Thought maybe after Fidel. Nope. Exactly. After that Fidel Castro, boy. Hell no. I'm good with that. That didn't happen. My and grandfather, then, before he passed away at 94 years old, it'll be this year, before you for four years that he passed away. He always said, Que carajo, que iri pa' Cuba, muchacho. That's what my dad used to say. Que carajo, a ver los cingao eso, fide Castro y a Raúl Castro. Yep, and then Raúl stepped in. <laughs> right, and forget and about it. I this don't think bad. anything's ever going to change. No, hell no, never. I want to go, but it'll probably be like 15, 20 years before all of them right. are completely gone. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I saw pictures and stuff. That place over there looks like 19, like in the oldies, it's you feel me? It's stuck, bro. Wow. There's no help from anybody because... Nothing. Oh, my God. There, there's no help. They just... Damn. Nope, then the embargo and all that is just there's no help. Right, no right. country wants Nothing to trade with them. Oh, Nobody wants God. to help them. Uh, my cousin went a couple years back. She came back and showed me a whole bunch of pictures and I was like, well, I'm what? sure it's gorgeous. It's nice, but it's like oldies, you know? Oh, yeah. It's not like now. You look at, you know, it's beautiful over there. Oh, my God. You can tell it's not atrasado, you know? Yeah. Everything's because yeah, of the game. Right, right. exactly. My, my grandma's brother, he came from Cuba to over here a couple yeah. years back. Maybe like nine years ago around there. Yeah. I'm a skinny guy, bro. I weigh 197 pounds. He was probably skinnier. This guy was dying, bro. He was like a skeleton. Yeah. I was like, I kept asking him, but why he's so skinny? He's like, man, they give you so much of amount of rice, of this, of that, a month yep. that you can eat. To the following month, he says, that's how they got it over there, he says. Yep, that rationing. What they right. do is they only give you so much. So much, yeah. Because he was down here eating like meat and stuff like that at restaurants. And he said he had to go back to his house over here in, in, in Ocala, to his son's house, and like it all out, you know? His body's not used much, to it. Yeah. Exactly. He didn't have that much protein. Right. None of that. Never. I mean, he was, oh my God, he was like a, like a walking dead. <laughs> it's sad, bro. Oh like, people shouldn't have to go through that. You no, know? man. Oh, sad, sad, bro. I guess if that's what you want to live at out there in Cuba. It's a crime to be in possession of a dollar, bro. You for real, jail for that. Shit, but they even told me that you can't have a chicken in your backyard because at night, people are so hungry, they sneak into your yard and take your chicken and to eat them. I ain't never heard of that. Yeah, that's what he told but me. I'm, I'm sure. like, what? And a pig, too. He said he had a pig in his backyard, about 70, 80 pounds. And he had it there for a couple months. And one day he wakes up, he goes to the backyard to feed him, the pig is gone. Sure, I okay? can do that. That's I'm cool. like, wow. When he told me that, I'm like, I mean, what? That's sad It's hunger. Yeah, man. Ortelio shared his determination to change, vowing never to get arrested again and to behave better upon his return. He also opened up about his previous experiences with crime, reflecting on his past mistakes. I just rent there. I rent from the guy in the front right there. Wow, on a Friday, go to jail. You know what that is? Hey, man, look, I do appreciate you being honest. You know? Always, man. I'm an honest guy, bro. These God, things, bro, hey, my, to me every day of hey my I'm 39, bro. I don't need to lie for nothing, bro. My thing is, be, I don't know if you know Spanish, but I be do. game, be fino, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm with you, bro. You my know my least thing is trouble. You can ask about OT, my, my nickname is OT. I don't get in trouble, bro. I ain't never dealt with you a day in my life. No. I've been out here for years. Hey, I don't get in trouble, bro. Is this will probably thing. be the first time in life you'll ever see me again. <laughs> Maybe you go down these streets or something, you might see me walking or something, you know? To, to my cousin's house, that's it. Otherwise than that, I'm right there in my house. You if come by here. Work or the house, bro, that's exactly. Where I'm at. Me too, bro. Two places you find me, me too. Here. Me too, bro. Work in the house. I got a question, man. How about inside that, in that jail, man? They give you food, man? It ain't Cuban food. <laughs> it ain't that. No, I'm saying at least anything, yeah, you know? Yeah, you do get food, bro. Okay. Remember, I've never been to jail, man. I've only been to jail three times my whole life, bro. My whole life, okay? Where at? In oh, Orlando. Orlando. Years back, though, man. Years. Possession of marijuana, and when I uh, first found out that my baby mama, my first baby mama, you see my son that's over there? Huh? His mama. Me and her got into argument like this, and it got to be a domestic violence thing, and I went to jail. You know, that was already more than 10 years back, you know, like 15 years ago. It's the only time I've ever been to jail, bro. Ever. My whole life. Ever, ever, ever. Ortelio was charged with battery. As dawn broke on their altercation, he morphed into a wanderer of regret, his footsteps echoing the path to confinement, where walls would shield him from himself. You have an issue with females? That's that's all of us, man. What's going on with that? You did? Okay, now come here. What's that? Okay, I gotta handcuff you. Okay. All right. On October 13th, 2023, officers were dispatched to a pair of drunk brothers fighting in the street in Des Moines. When the police arrived at the scene, they found the man in an unstable condition, causing a disturbance with his brother. However, despite the police wanting to talk to him, he showed no interest in engaging with them. Nobody's got a gun, right? No, no, no. All right, what's up? Back the f 
Yo, back up. Hey, come on. Back up. Hey, chill out. They're brothers. Uh, oh, What's up? I need to go to county. I'm done with that. You want to go to jail? Yeah. No, don't listen to him. Shut up. Do you have a Hold warrant or something? No, no. He doesn't. You're just not having a good time. No, I'm, like, I'm good. I need, I need to go to county. No, you don't. You're not going to Hey, hey f it. Up. Both of you. I. Yeah, he's taking the punch. Shut the f up. Hey. I, you're trying to help. I appreciate it. So, go back Go back to the house, would you please? And let me talk to your brother. I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying right here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Go yeah, on. you are. You keep screaming the N-word at your brother, it, uh, bothering all your neighbors. Yeah, that is wrong. That's my little brother. I'm not having him go nowhere. Did you even hear what I just said? Yeah. I'm yeah, you are doing something wrong. It'd probably be better if you just went inside. Let me talk to him. So what's going on? The, these two just get, keep getting pissed off at each other, but the gentleman in the red here doesn't want to walk away. He's the instigator, but... So what's up? Come on, talk to me, bud. What's up? No, I get it, but you want to go to jail. What's up? You got another place to go? No. I got nowhere to go. So, hey, man. You, your mental health is up okay well if you're aggressive we can't get you a mental health professional you know what i'm saying so you want to go to jail okay okay so, so where do you want to go okay what crime have you committed okay i can't lock you up then you know what i mean Are you just are you just like arguing with your brother and this is oh, this is all that's going on? It's been before this. I'm at the L. Okay. Then do you do you see a shrink or anything? So do you live with him? Oh no, What's your name, bud? Zeus? What's your last name? Mm-hmm. Well, we can't. Uh, okay. Drink any alcohol, anything like that? You want you want to go to the hospital and try and get mental health help? You have to chill. They're not going to take you as you're kind of aggressive like that. You guys live here, right? At nine, yeah. Hello, mom. You think talking to mom will help? Hey, want to talk to mom? Come on, you play. No, hey, bro. Bro, we take you to jail. You're gonna catch a case. You're gonna have to pay a lawyer. All that. I don't care. Yeah, you are gonna care. You don't care at this moment, but it's gonna be tough. We're trying to help you, buddy. I'm trying to. Where's mom live? Mom lives with us, but she's at work. Uh, okay. I'm trying to have a job because this is irrational. It's crazy. Yeah. No. Where do you live, bro? Oh, you live here too? Okay. It's stupid. Come on, let's go outside then. Come on. Yeah. Go outside. Hey, why don't you guys? Hey, you think it'd be better if you just walked it off and came back when you feel a little bit better? I've been dealing with this for years. Dealing with what? Yeah, that's what you got. You got to talk to me. I got mental health for years. Like what? What in particular? Mental health. Yeah. What's that? You have an issue with females? That's that's all of us, man. What's going on with that? You did? Yes, I did. Back the up, bitch. Both want to go there. All right. I mean, if you both want to go, I'll take you both. Come on over. Zeus, come on. Let's go. I'll take you. When a suspect declines to provide a statement to the police, they must proceed based on the circumstances. Subsequently, the officers escorted the man into their cruiser. You ready, Zeus? Okay. Then come here. What's that? Okay. I got to handcuff you. Okay. All right. You got anything sharp or dangerous on you or whatever? Okay. Shut up! I'm talking crazy! Shh! Shh! Alright, go this side, dude.
what's all in your pocket? What's this? this uh, was, you, you got an idea in there? Yeah. Go ahead. Mm. Morning with UTL. I'll be around two thirty, of course. You're wet here. Did you piss yourself? No. Uh, what, what do they spill? What's this, another pump? No, man, I think that's urine. I have a folder on the side right here. Huh? I have a folder right there. Yeah, do you want me to put it in your pocket? Uh, yeah, right in the back pocket. You're gonna sit on it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. How old is he? Hello? Okay. I don't really know what else to do. Him and his brother are out here screaming at each other like they're going to fight. Okay, I don't, I don't know what that's going to help, ma'am. Okay, we'll try. We'll try and figure this out. I'll do my best. Okay. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Have they been drinking all night. He oh, urinated yeah, himself. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Let's get out of here. Follow me. All right. Yeah. Hey, let your buddy know I'm gonna try and talk him down before we take him. Take him. All right. All right. The police took the man to jail and gave him instructions on the procedures for their future actions. Mike, he's a little, little wet. You want me to shut this off? Thank you. You need to you anything in your pockets? Uh, phones. Like three of them. You gotta be here, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, All right, go ahead and follow me. Alright, watch your head getting in there. Little ceiling. You want me to put the seatbelt on you? No, no, it's fine. You're okay? Alright. Yeah, watch your head, we'll help you on down, alright? There you go. And then just head over to this door, please. The man was charged with public intoxication. For more stories about criminals, subscribe to the channel.